Okay, let's first define what is chirocarbon is. Um, a chirocarbon is a carbon that attached to four different groups. And a chiro is a carbon that uh, they don't have four different groups attached to it. Um, let's go over some example. Um, let's go with this one. Um, uh, to those of you that is not uh, really comfortable with the angle formula, you can just write it down so it's easy to recognize. This one is CH3, CH2, CH2, CH3. Okay? Okay? Um, okay, now this one, this carbon right here is attached to 3H. So, you know, there's no chiral because it's attached to the same thing, like 3 group. This carbon right here is chiral carbon. Um, let's circle this one right here. And the reason why it's chiral because it's attached to uh, CH3, that's one group. You just circle the group so it's easy for you. And then attached to OH, that's second group. And then it attached to CH2, CH2, CH3. So that's like the whole, kind of the whole group. And then you know, remember that carbon have four bonds, so this one you just put down the hydrogen. Like when the hydrogen is not drawn in, so you have to assume that it's attached to the hydrogen. So there's four group. So this molecule have one chiral center. Okay, I just circled this one right here. So one chiral center. Let's move on to the next one. Um, this molecule, um, let's draw it out. This one is CH2. CH2. Oh, my camera is so blurry. Sorry about that. This one is CH2. This one is CH2. CH2. Okay, let's see what the carbon attached to. So this carbon attached to the OH. That's one group. It's attached to the... This carbon right here attached to the um, H2. Um, let me just draw the H right here, it's easy for you. Uh, let me take this out. Right here is the carbon right here, okay? The angle line, with this one attached to H. So this one is the same group. So this one is not chiral center. This and this and this, they are same. So this carbon doesn't have a chiral center. Let's go with this one. Um, when they give you the formula like this, so it's better if you just bring this carbon attached to the H. So you just, um, you know, just make a bond for the H so it's easy for you to recognize. This carbon burned to COOH, so circle one, that's one different group. NH3, CH3, this one is H, so that's four different groups, so you get one chiral carbon. This over here is um, this attached to the CL. This one is carbon right here. So let's see what it's attached to. This one attached to CL, that's one group. This one attached to, this one is C right here, attached to H, H. C right here, attached to H, H. Remember, carbon always have to have four bond, um, tetra, um, A octave rule. So this carbon attached to 2H, this carbon attaches 2H to the same group, so it cannot be chiral carbon. So this compound right here is, doesn't have a chiral center, so it cannot be chiral um, molecule. Okay, uh, let's go on to the next section. Okay.